Superpowers have been a long time dream of mankind, and many people imagine what life would be like without the boundaries of a human one. Today on What If, we explore exactly what life would be like if we were more than just human beings. The results may surprise you. Flash, Quicksilver. Many superheroes that we know and love today have abilities that allow them to run at speeds faster than the eye can follow. But those are just the comic books. Things would be very different in real life. Say for example, Casey's here. Huh? Let's imagine that he can run at 30,000 miles per hour. What? No way! No way! Except that's not actually how it would be. Let's rewind a bit. Super speed, as it turns out isn't as super as it sounds. If Casey were to use this ability, the best case scenario would be, uh, death. Let me back up for a moment and explain. You see, the air around us isn't just empty. It's filled with all kinds of dust, sand, and dirt particles, just to name a few. Normally, this isn't a problem. We'd either breathe these harmless particles in, or we'd walk through them. However, Casey is no longer normal. When he begins to accelerate, these particles will roll up against his body as he pushes them out of the way. This creates friction, as well as causing things to begin heating up. In order to understand this better, imagine quickly rubbing your hands together when they get cold. They get warmer, right? This is due to the fact that energy created from friction causes things to heat up. Now back to Casey. As these particles rub up against him, he and the particles become, in essence, two giant hands rubbing together, only at 30,000 miles per hour. The friction created from these particles will create so much heat that Casey will light himself on fire. And that's not all. The average reaction time for a human being is around 0.27 seconds. So by the time Casey actually registers that an object is in his way, say a house, he'd have already ran over two miles before he could even try to avoid it. Another issue arises when Casey begins running. It's actually possible for him to accelerate too fast. According to Newton's first law, objects in motion like to stay in motion, while objects that aren't like to stay motionless. When he runs, his legs begin moving, yes, but the rest of his body, namely his brain, has yet to. Accelerating too fast would cause his brain to smash into the side of his skull, while stopping too fast would cause it to smash into the other side, causing a concussion so massive he'd be lucky to survive. The so super speed probably isn't the best way to travel. Well, I'm headed to the hospital to visit Casey, but stay tuned for more What If.